on the AKC website of the Akita and I went ahead and put it right there. Next I'm going to add a hyperlink to the dog breeds website. So this is what I'm talking about on the American Kennel Club. You're going to go here where it says Akita and select this and copy command C. All right in your PowerPoint you're going to go up here to insert shapes and go to a call out or sorry an action button so I'm going to scroll all the way down past call outs to the action buttons and go over here to the sixth one in that says information. Now right now it's going to be just blue because it's the office theme. All of that will change when we add a slide design. I'm going to click here where it says hyperlink to, choose the down arrow. I'm going to go down here to the URL. And before I paste that, I'm going to click here and press delete to get rid of that. Now command V. And now it gives me that HTTPS. Click add and, be, and then click OK. Because this is a button that we press, it doesn't change color or anything. It doesn't tell someone that you want to, it's a hyperlink. So I'm going to click on it and choose, two finger click on it and choose edit text. Sometimes it says add text, or you can just go up here and click on that one as well. And okay, click here for more information. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And again, I'm not really going to do anything to it because when we add a slide design here a little bit later, um, the color is going to change and um, maybe even the location might have to change. Hyperlink, when you click on it here in this view, nothing happens. But if I go to presentation view and click on that, see how it gives me a little finger. And when you hover your mouse over it, it shows you the website. When you click on it, it hyperlinks it and goes to that website. Next, we are going to add animation to the bullets. Okay, so this is where it gets fun. And again, remember that the goal here is to um, help guide your presentation, but not take away from it. So if your animation is too obnoxious, then it's really hard to like concentrate on what it is that you're saying. So I'm going to click here and just select the text box. So I just click it. So my text box is selected down here and go up here to animations. Just for simplicity, I'm going to have everyone choose fly in. When you do this, this animation pane should pop up here and you should see numbers over here on the side. So I'm going to have you do this first. So go ahead and click on the first number one. All right, when you do that, go up here and look and see that it says on click. Okay, so let's click on the second number one and see what it says. Okay, with previous. Remember that previous means before. So if I was talking about the previous day, it would be the day before. So I do want those two to come in together. So right now, brief description and courageous would come in together. I want that to happen because I don't want to say, here's my brief description. Now, right here for my third number one, this is different. I'm now talking about its size or its looks. So I'm going to go up here and where it says start, I'm going to tell it to start on click. Now it gives me a two. I'm going to do the same thing for very intelligent and compassionate. And the make guard dogs. I want the part about Helen Keller to come in at the same time. So I'm going to keep that one as with previous. So that way where it says make great guard dogs and therapy dog dogs and Helen Keller little part will come in together. All right. Then I will click and other types of working breed groups dogs would show up. Then I want the Alaska Malamute to show up and I'm going to talk about the Alaska Malamute. Then I want the Bernese Mountain Dog to come in. So I need to change 
when the Bernese Mountain Dog starts. Instead of with previous, I'm going to tell it to start on click. Okay. So go ahead and adjust your animation. Pause the video and adjust your animation here. All right. So the problem with this is if I go down here to, uh, oh, it kind of changes this here, hold on. To show my presentation, notice that here it is, I'm talking about the Akita, there's a picture of the Akita, but this random picture of a Bernese mountain dog and this random picture of an Alaska Malamute's chilling on my slide. That's weird. So I am going to add animation to those dogs pictures so that they come in with the breed name. Okay, so this is what I recommend. Watching this first, then going in, doing it, and going back and referring to this if you need to. So here's my picture of the Alaskan Malamute. I'm gonna have it fly in just like I would to text. Okay, it comes in as number seven. So I need to make it number six so that I can tell it to come in with previous. So that way it will also have the number five. So there's two ways to do this. I can either see where it says seven picture three. I can either click this up arrow and now it's six or I could also drag it and drop it where I want it to go. Okay, same thing. I can click here and go up here and say, choose with previous. So now the name Alaska Malamute and the picture of the Alaska Malamute would come in at the same time. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the Bernese Mountain Dog, but we won't need to rename it. So six says Bernese Mountain Dog. So I'm gonna click on the picture of the Bernese Mountain Dog, go up here and choose fly in. Again, guys, you might have a little bit different numbers and that's okay, as long as this part down here is the same. All right, so here I'm gonna click on my picture for here, or I can just click on the picture and it will do the same thing, or on the picture little number. And go up here and tell it to start with previous. So now when I go to present this, Jose, all about the Akita. Talk about the description there, how it's loyal. It's a big dog. It's very smart. It makes a great guard dog. Here's some other types of working dogs. The Alaskan Malamute. I would say something about it. The Alaskan Malamute is much like the Akita, blah, blah. The Bernese Mountain Dog. Okay. When I was doing that, I realized that I don't want the word other types and Alaskan Malamute to come in at the same time. So I'm gonna click here on the five for Alaskan Malamute and go up here and tell it to come in on click. That is totally your call. And because this picture of the Alaskan Malamute is connected to the text, it's just gonna change that number as well. Guys, I get that this is kind of challenging so you may need to um, pause this and rewatch it or ask a question there. Okay. Then somewhere in your notes, you would just add, um, click here if you have any, if you wanna learn more about the Akita or any of the dog breeds listed here. Okay, now we're gonna add a slide design. So, Go here to slide design. And it's totally gonna to be your call, but just know that just because you choose one of these, so let's say I choose this one. I am not married to this, to these theme colors. I can, there's some variants over here that I can choose. Or I could go one step further and choose this little down arrow here and go to colors and if I change any of those colors it would apply it to my slides as well 
Okay, this is also what I was talking about. So I said, what you might need to do is rearrange some of the stuff on your slides. Like I would need to move this picture. I decided I don't like that theme. All right, I'm gonna go with this theme. And again, so like right here, I'm gonna need to move this up a little bit. Might have the picture here. Change this to orange, not saying I'm a huge fan of that. So I can change that just by adjusting my shape format. Or I could um, keep it orange. Same thing on my first slide. Now these pictures all have a white background. Um, and if you want to use that set transparent, for some reason with these pictures where you go here to color, set transparent, color and click on the white, it kind of gives them a white little background. So if that doesn't bother you, feel free to keep that. Or um, I said to, ch to add a picture style to kind of make it look a little bit fancier. And then what I might do, and I might have the Akita go up here, the picture go down here. Okay, it's however you want to do it. Okay, then we're going to add a slide transition. So um, the only thing that I would not recommend is airplane. We're not talking about flight at all. So let's not choose airplane or um, origami. That one doesn't make sense. It's, it's a big distraction. So anything else and then just apply it to all of the slides. And here's some effect options. So instead of pushing up, it would push to the left or to the right. It's kind of up to you here because you don't want this on the slide until the very end so it's up to you how you add the or which one you choose you could just have it fade in and again we want it to come in at the end so it just automatically pops in as at eight 